Welcome my glam dolls back to my channel. So today I decided to film a makeup tutorial to try to get back in the groove of my things. Um, I do want to appreciate everybody that's been supporting me and standing there while I try to get like a coordination or to become more consistent. For everybody that's been standing by me, supporting me, messaging me, like I appreciate all of you guys, especially those who always wonder what I'm going to post next. So yeah, if you guys do want to watch this video, make sure you continue watching my eyelids i use the Too faced born this way multi-use concealer and i use it in the shade seashell that's one of the new shades they came out with and i go in with this uh, real techniques it's a Lux crease brush. This is the one that I've been using. Like it's my holy grail. Are uh, really oily today, but I am going to set them. That way I have no issues when I go in with eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna pick a little bit on this Morphe 510, and I'm just going to dab it on. That way they're not so oily. I'm going to use this Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. It's really dirty, so don't judge me. Don't judge me. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. So I am going to start with this yellow shade right here. And I'm going to pick that up on a Morphe M513 brush. And that is going to be my transition shade. So I am going to start up here. Is that me or are these fucking... Palette's lost pigment. So I am going to blend. I put it in the crease first to see if it lost like pigment, and it kind of did. So I have to like really pack it on. So once I get as much product as possible, I am going to move it up. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade down here, secure with a morphe m 518 and y'all notice my dark spots are going away and i want to talk to you guys about that product no i'm not sponsored or anything it's a product that i definitely would recommend for somebody that's really insecure with their dark spots my sister's the one who introduced it to me because she works for that um company and if you notice, this side is like um, a little bit lighter. And these, this side is definitely going away, like without a doubt. So I will show you guys that product if you guys want to see more about it. So now I'm going to go in with Smooth Criminal on uh, this is a real, a real technique. This is a Sonia Kashuk large eyeshadow. So I'm going to pack on Smooth Criminal, top off the excess, place that in my crease. So I haven't used these palettes. I'm pretty sure these palettes are expired. 12 months. Oh, 2018. Damn. It's already expired. But I don't, I feel like shadows, how, how would they expire? Like. Does it irritate your eye or something? So right now I'm just going back and forth between brushes. That way it could like seamlessly blend it. So now I'm going to go in with a more dense brush. I am going to go in with the Sonia Kashuk. It's a blending brush. And I'm going to go in with the next shade Pearl. And it's the darkest brown in here. I am surprised I haven't hit pan on none of my palettes. I think because I be I go like from one palette to another palette to another palette without like continuing to use it. So right now I'm gonna kind of pack it on, but not too much, and kind of just work it in the crease until I feel like I should start to move up. Because of my eye shape, I do take longer than normal people. That's how I feel. Because if you have nice eyelids, you know where everything is. I mean, my eyelid sucks ass. Like, definitely sucks. So I am using the same concealer that I used um, to 
to prime my lids so i do want to just use a nude shade to go this is the morphe f x jeffree star so i'm gonna go in with like this nude right here so i am just going to use my finger to kind of tap it out and just going to dab it with these type of brushes that are more dense um to go in with the shades that i used in my crease so i am gonna go in with the orange first secure that i used previously and i'm going to pack that not like a lot not far but enough to pack it not to where you could see the shade but not far enough where you mess up your whole crease then you can go on with the darker brown make sure it's blended i'm just going to do my other eye off camera and i'll be right back i'm going to put on my mascara so i did add um this it's a nyx glitter goals i added it on the crease and on top of my liner so that i could add a little bit of oomph because you know your girl don't like no boring eyes I hardly ever do anything without glitter or without color, so this is as, as simple as you guys are going to get me, to be honest. So I am going to prime my face. This is the Outport Cutty Poreless Primer. I'm going to put it on my problem areas. Well, not problem areas. Where I have my biggest pores. Um, I did also get the luminous one, so I am going to test that one out and when my face is like really dry. This one is like a dupe for the Tatcha one. If you guys don't know which one that is, I have the actual Tatcha one right here. And this one is my um holy grail. This is one that I really use with along with my Smashbox one. I like to use it together because it really um helps eliminate my pores. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. The Anastasia foundation and I use it in 33 oh 332 C. So I am going to use the Real Techniques uh, 200. I've been changing the way I do my um, makeup now. I start with a brush and then I use um, uh, a sponge. Because I feel like the um, brushes don't take up, soak up as much product. So it does um, help me use less. But right now I definitely put too much, but it's okay. And I have been using this one um, because it's luminous. And since in the winter my face is like really dry, I like went towards this foundation, and it has became my favorite. And I'm going with my Sonia Kashuk brush, and I'm just gonna dab in whatever's sitting on top of my skin. So I am going to use the Born This Way Concealer, the same one that I used to prime my lids. And I don't add too much. And I don't put it right under my eye either. Because you do use the, you do move the product up. So you don't have to put it um, right by your eye. I start like this. That way the product starts to move up without adding way too much. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I've been using the Real Techniques um, Fluffy Sponge, I guess, for my... It's like a fuzzy sponge. Fuzzy sponge? <laughs> to set my face. In the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder in the shade Spiced Rum. So I am going to dab it first. And then I will start to blend it. That way it could sit. Like kind of set the foundation in that area. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to use the bottom of this sponge. I do it is from my ear. To my middle of my mouth. Makeup Geek Blush in Spellbound. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Like this brush. I don't know what. It doesn't have like a. It just says angled brush. So I am going to put it on the apples of my cheeks. So I am going to use a pair from the Target ones that I got. I'm going to use this last pair down here. So I am going to start in with that dark brown. 
on a like really flat elf brush. So then I'm gonna just grab this fluffy brush that I used before to um, blend it out. And this is Sony Construct brush, and I'm just going to. I'm going to. I do grab like a little bit of um, translucent powder and kind of just put it on top. That way it looks really blended. So definitely like these lashes. They're different and really small compared to what I normally use, but they look actually really pretty. So I totally forgot that I needed to do lips. Um, so I am going to use a NYX Matte Lip Liner in Club Hopper. I'm going to outline my lips with this. I'm going to go in with this Milani 61 Matte Naked. And I am going to grab a clean brush to blend it in together. I'm going to add a little bit of a lighter shade in the middle and I'm going to use the KKW one yeah. in the shade 3.5 and I'm just going to add that to the middle. So yeah, if you guys did like this look, this is what it looks like. So if you did like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.